हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज प्रकाश मिठानी एंड वेलकम टू लर्न इन टेक इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एच टी एम एल लॉग इन फॉर्म यूजिंग सिंपल एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस दिस इज द लॉग इन फॉर्म विच आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एंड वी विल क्रिएट द सेम काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म using html and css we'll start from scratch i have already created a folder structure with the name of html and css login form right now there is a user.png which we will be using as this image and rest will create from scratch i'll open my text editor that is sublime text press control new save your file with index.html create another file save it with global.css now go in my html section create the basic html structure here once that is created provide title for your page that is html login form once that is done we need to link our global.css file into html we'll do that by using link tag in the href section provide the address of global.css so we are on the same directory i will just type global.css here all right now our css is linked go in a body section what we will do we'll create a div and provide a class to this particular div with form container in the css section first of all create asterisk and provide margin 0 padding 0 body section create this body tag add a background color to this and we'll see how it's look in browser so what i'm going to do add some css to this form container class remember we create class in css with dot and i will provide some width that is around 250 pixel height will be auto right now padding i will provide 20 pixel from top and bottom and 30 pixel from left and right we'll see that how it's look the background color would be this so right now this is our form and what border radius would be 10 pixel and box shadow will be around 0 0 ten pixel 0 now the color would be black one this is how it's look this is our container section go inside that create a ul and now create some allies for this ul well go in a browser section that what we need we need a member login username password submit and forget so that means we need five allies which we have already created so the first will be member login and the second box we need to create a username so that will be we create we will create a input 
and the type will be text and the name will be username and there is a property called placeholder by which we will bring this username there so it will be username again we'll copy the same one and we'll just paste it below we need to create this as a password type so we'll change the type and we'll set the type called password and here we will enter some dots here for password section and we'll also change the name password here once that is done we'll paste it again and in the third case we will change the input type which is button and name will be submit there is a no placeholder there we'll set the value for that value will be submit for our button and in the last one we have to put pocket password question mark we'll see that how it's coming there so right now this is our form so first of all what i need to do is i will add some padding top that is 10 vh and the form container margin will be auto it will be center line then so i think till this time we are going right we'll see that what we need to do now so what we have done we have created a ul we'll create a class inside this ul name this class as a list copy this class create css for this class ul dot class name curly brace start copy the entire section paste it here now create some css for allies so this ally means all the allies that are inside this ul all right so first what we're gonna do we're gonna set list style type that will be none so what it will do it will remove all these disk that is coming here if i refresh it let me just save it these are removed So what we need to do is in our we need to set text align that it's center all right so now text is coming in a center and for every ally we'll set the width is 250 pixel All right, the ally width is 250 pixel, which is right. Then again, what we need to do is inside allies, we have created some input tag there. All right, so how we will write it? Ally space input. This is how we write. And if I include some width to these input tag it will reflect there <coughs> and we will set text align center for these input tag also 
So now all the text that is coming in centered, what we need to do is now, first of all, we'll change the color of background color of up submit button. So what we need to do is we will create ul dot list space li space input and remember that we have all these tag with input these all three tag are input tag and we need to specify that this is the submit one which this is the submit one where we have to put the css so what we'll do we'll create a bracket here and select the type that will be button and we need to include background color for this particular we'll see that yes and it's changed and we'll set the color for this also the color will be white absolutely fine we'll set some padding so padding will set for all these input tag the padding will be around 10 pixel top bottom and 0 from left right well, I think it's too big we need to set it like 8 pixel is it cool 8 pixel let me just do something i will select border none i will remove the border first of all the border is removed now what we will do background color it will be d3 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 let's see how it's come up and what I'll do, I will set some margin bottom in my ally. I will set it 10 pixel. This is how it's look now. All right, I need to, to provide some border radius to all the input field so i will include border radius 5 pixel all around this is how it's look now and i think i think it's pretty much similar now here and what we need to do is now i will go in my so i need to change the color of this forget password so i can do that by two way either i will define a class or id here or either i can simply do it by using list ul ally and inside the ally i am using nth child nth child and it will be 5 and the color would be red yes and the color is changed now so how the nth child work why I have written 5 here because I'm using 1 2 3 4 5th allies so what nth child do in the nth child whatever the position you define it applies CSS to that particular ally so I'm using ul dot list dot allies means in the ally I'm using nth child fifth number and it will apply the color red to only to this particular fifth number ally all right so this is how the nth child work so this is done and now what I need to do uh, in the member long section I need to make it a heading 2 that is our h2 tag this is how it will look now and I need to increase 
space in between our margin bottom it will set it 15 pixel all right i think uh, our form look pretty much similar now if not then we'll add some padding in case some top or bottom padding but i think apart from that it's pretty much same so we need to include image now so what i'll do i'll go in the form container section i will create a div here and i will add a class called user img once that is created after a form container i am gonna create this class and i'll add background it will be not background i'll add some simple background url double quotes and we'll see what is our image name it is user.png so i'll set user.png here it will be no repeat i'll set the width of this it will be 50 pixel and the height will be 50 pixel also and the background position background size will be 100 percent we'll see that how the image is coming so right now the image is there i will set the position absolute all right from top i will set zero it is there now before that i'll set my form container position relative now it is there minus 20 pixel minus 20 pixel is there we'll set it like minus 40 pixel we'll increase the size actually 70 pixel 70 pixel now this is how it's look and from left i will set it like 20 pixel no need to do is 100 pixel so it is in center now i think i need to do is 110 this is how it's look what i'll do now i will increase the padding by not 30 by 50 pixel so now this is uh what our form will look from top and bottom so what i'll do i'll make it 40 all right so i think it's good to go now so this is what our form look like the similar form and what i'll do i will make it 30 vh so it will come like in the center so this is what our form we have created using this simple html and css if you have any question and query regarding the code or anything you are not able to understand please let me know because i think this is one of the simplest code or form or login form we have what we have created and i'll be creating the same kind of form in the future and a lot of new stuff i'll be creating in html and css still if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest update thank you so much for watching learn and tech